everyone welcome and thank you for joining me again today my name is Missy and you're watching on my YouTube channel I dream of wigs today I'm going to be showing you Aesthetica's orchid in the color and I'm sorry I have to look at this because this is a long one this is in the color R O M 6240 RT4 wow you talk about a long one so if you can see that so this is an ombre color anytime you see the rom that's a rooted and then the om stands for ombre so this is on a golden brown base with some beautiful beautiful golden highlights running throughout and then the ends, what makes this extra special, is the ends are tipped with a, there you can see a little bit of the lighting in there. And once I get outside, you will see it even better. The tips are a coppery um, kind of uh, auburn reddish tipped. So this is just a beautiful, beautiful color and so orchid, you can see the root, like I said, is a four, and that is very dark, very dark for me. So what I'm going to do, which I always do with the darker roots like that, I don't like the, let me just get up a little bit closer so that you can see. For some people that looks natural, to me, it just is too dark. I've never had hair that dark so what I do is I use my L'Oreal uh, root spray which a lot of people say that this is uh, a temporary after you wash it it comes out I have had many that I use the root spray on and have washed them two sometimes three times and that root spray does not come out so I'm thinking on this one what I'm going to use is the dark blonde. Now I go between the dark blonde and the light medium blonde. So I'm thinking on this one, I'm probably going to use this one. And that's just going to um, make that appear like the hairline has highlights down to the hairline, which is what I actually prefer. So this style, this, this is not a new style by any means, but it is one of those that is a, a classic. And if you've had an orchid before, you, you know what I'm talking about. You just love it because of the long length, the layers in it. Um, it it's just beautiful. It's got some, you know, bouncy kind of waves in here and it's just a gorgeous gorgeous wig so I'm gonna get into the specs of this one um, I am going to in the description list my head circumference and all of my measurements from now on so that you will know um, how the fit is for yourself so let's just get into this the front of orchid is nine inches so this part right here is nine inches long. And you can see that it, it has kind of a natural lift there in the front. The sides here, this first layer, are 10 inches. The crown is 12. The nape is 13. And overall, I'm going to say that the length of this one is between uh, 19, 20 inches. So I'm gonna do a spin really quick so that you can see this one all the way around. Um, and then I'll go into more on this one. So here's my left. And you can see it's just, it's very, very long. And my back. So 
yeah, she's just really, really pretty. And to me, this is just one of those throw on and go. You don't have to do a lot to this one because it's so natural. The waves and the layers just want to frame the face. Now this one would be good for an updo. You know, if you wanted to pull it up and leave some down, you could certainly do that with this one. Fancy date night is what, you know, I'm thinking. The long hair, you know, just gorgeous. But as I keep running my hands through this, you can see that it wants to come more into the face. So that's the style of this, it does. It just comes into the face and frames your face with those uh, first layers there of 10 inches. So let's talk permatees. I'm a permatease lover and I've had many orchids and I'm going to tell you right now that this one does not have as much permatease as all of the other orchids that I've had. Um, I've got some up here at the crown and down the part line and right through here. The nape definitely has some and that's because of the length. You've got to have something there to give it a little bit of oomph. Overall, my opinion on this one as far as the permatees, if you do not like permatees, this one is not bad. Um, I've had some that are really, really loaded. I guess every wig is just a hit and miss. You may get one that's loaded with permatees and then your next one you may have barely none. Kind of like this one for me. So. I'm feeling, you know, permatease all throughout the cap, basically. So I'm going to take it off and show you the insides. This one weighs just a little over four ounces, 4.7, something like that, I do believe. So this here, we have a temple to temple lace front. And then you do have your left side monofilament lace part the open wefting on the sides and the back there is no extended nape on this but it's not bothering me it never has as far as staying put you do have your bra strap closures the ear tabs velvet it's Bendable stays, yes. Good for me with glasses. So with Aesthetica brand, I have always found that Aesthetica wigs fit me a little bit larger. Now I am a 22 and a half inch head circumference, which is, I guess, average. Some consider that large, but to me that is average. Aesthetica brand always runs a little bit large on me. No matter what wig it is that I have, it always seems to run a little bit larger. So, if you are 22 and a half or, or larger, Aesthetica is gonna fit you like a dream. And even if you're more on the smaller side, um, it, it's still gonna fit because of the adjusters. You can just cinch those in all the way. So, let me tell you a little bit about where I've been purchasing my wigs lately. Um, it is, this is from, um, we do have a Facebook group that you can go and join and I'm going to link that in the description. All you have to do is click that and it will take you right to the group where you can join. Now this is called TL Wigs, Support, Inspiration and Education. And there is where all of the business is going down right now as far as taking orders and, and things like that. She's in the process of having her web page developed and it's not going to be much longer and you will be able to order your wigs right online from the website. So just bear with her on that. But as for now, like I said, you just join the group and most of your major brands she has. So she's constantly posting, you know, what is on special with the manufacturer. So she's constantly posting, you know, what is on special with the manufacturer as, as well as some 
specials that she may be offering as well. So you get the 30% off on the weekends, plus sometimes even more. Um, she is always doing gift card giveaways, and if you are active in the group, it really pays to be active. Because so if you're interested in this or any of the other uh, brands that I have showed, just ask her and she will be glad to look up stock for you and color and let you know the price and all of that. I am going to head outside so that you can see this beautiful color in the natural light. And as always, thank you for joining me. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you. So here I am outside and the sun is actually behind of me so you can see with kind of filtered light exactly what this is going to look like outside i don't have any kind of ring light or anything on so you can see that it is just a beautiful color i'm going to step over here into some filtered sun where you can see it better and see the tipped ends i hope you're picking that up you can see the different colors in that and the ends are, are tipped. It's just beautiful. Very pretty color. And outside you can see the movement is natural. Like I said, this one does have a little of a natural lift there. So if you like that, you'll love Orchid. I love it. We'll walk back into a little bit of the sun. Thank you.